this coming December 19 will be the promulgation finally of the Maguindanao Massacre. Sir, what are we anticipating and hoping for this eventful day? Well, the court will decide on the basis of evidence, so we hope that justice will be given to the parties, especially to the prosecution. Historic day, sir, because during the term of the president, the Serbian justice para sa mga victims. Well, regardless of uh, under whose administration, justice should always be there. Sir, make personal comment po kasi President Duterte. On that? We did not touch that. We were talking to us. Tell us, sir, former legal counsel, any personal feelings or... I cannot uh, make any comment. Say, any comment I have will, have will be viewed by people or whether for or against with some bias. Because I was involved. It's enough that I say that justice should prevail and the court, and you have to respect whatever decision the court will get. Sir, any comment? Um, Denis Miss na sa digam bayan yung isang another for future case against the Marcoses. It's the fourth case dismissed against the Marcoses. As we have repeatedly said, we never interfere with the decision of the court. The court will always decide on the basis of evidence. That's for the soldier to decide. We will not preempt. Any government is concerned with any case filed by it against perceived transgressors of law. But in the final analysis, it's the court that will always decide whether you have a case or not against the accused. <coughs> Sir, is the government not concerned? Because pang apat na kasi na dismiss, so mahina po ba yung build up ng kaso? Or is is matagal? From what I gather, not this particular case that is being dismissed, but the last one, it was dismissed because the documents, original documents, were not were not presented. So looking forward, sir, no, pwedeng magawa ng... What they have to, with respect to original documents, they're saying that they were lost. But I read some accounts and they're still with the central bank. I can't even understand why. And even assuming that they're lost, you know, the rules of court provide for a procedure by which you can still introduce copies of the original documents. You have to prove first that there was loss. You have to produce that. You cannot produce it because there was a loss. And the court will allow it. <coughs> Sir, show me you must remember you. that this case was prosecuted prior to the administration. Sir? Meaning, you cannot blame the present lawyers okay. for that. Okay. But assuming, sir, that there were lapses in how government lawyers handled the case, can, can we make them accountable? Because pang apat na siyang for future case na natalo tayo. Is there any way to make them accountable? Uh, if, uh, if there are no documents to be presented, how can you make the lawyers be accountable for that? You think, uh, you think sir, due process was practiced mm -hmm. before the decision was made? You're, you're confident, sir, that due process was exercised before the decision was handed down by the court? Which one? With respect to... That on latest case, the Sandigam Bayan. Well, we always consider that all courts will observe due process because that is precisely what the Constitution tells everyone, whether lawyers or courts. Sir, last night, the Senate passed a bill on a separate facility for heinous crime convicts. Pero wala dun, sir, sa mga nakalista na considered as heinous crimes yung drug trafficking, sir. Your comment. That was, uh, that was passed without... 
wala sir yung drug trafficking dun sa considered as heinous crimes. Ang andun sir, treason, rape, piracy. Sa house lang yan. Sa yeah. Senate sir. Ang house lang. Mm -hmm. What about the house? Wala, wala pa. pa po sir. I think uh, the house, from what I gathered before, the house included that. Do and with that, there's still a bicameral committee that we're discussing that. Does the palace want uh, drug-related crimes to be included? It should be. Why? 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 It's, it's the most dreaded evil that has descended on all cities of the world. It has caused dysfunction of families. It has destroyed families. It's uh, <clears throat> more than the other crimes, sir. It's the most dreaded. It's not more than. It's equally the same. Sir, it's a may needed lang, sir. May needed ba nila water? Ano yeah. status talaga, sir? Yung extension, is it um, revoked? Well, according to the MWSS, the board passed a resolution revoking the extension. The extension, hindi yung resolution before the revocation. May mga sinasabi na clarification ng MWSS. Palace perspective, wala nang extension, correct? No, the, the issue was it was extended prior to its maturity, right? Correct. And according to MWS, they revoked the extension. So it means that the original expiration would Remain. now be applied. So 2020. Two. 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 Yes. So sir, kasi, apparently, it sa loans ng dalawang banko yung uh, status ng revocation. So ngayon, Ang um, sana sabi nila is if it's not extended, and, in, and right now you're saying it's not going to be extended, it's going to affect their capex and yung loans nila, meaning um, lugi. I don't think the concessioners lost in this business venture. They have profited so much out of this concessionary agreements. That is precisely why this government is complaining. Because of the onerous provisions. They did file income tax. They were in control on the rates. So how can you even say that they lost? So nothing to resolve. As far as the palace is concerned, revoke, correct? There is nothing to what? To resolve anymore. I guess it's in sabi nila they're willing to work with MWSS and as far as yung mga onerous provisions are concerned. Well, as far as the president is concerned, these onerous provisions must go. With respect to the contracts that will expire 2022? Yes. What happens after 2022? Well, then there will be a new contract. The original concessions can be the same people running it, or if there are better proposals, there will be bidding, of course. Sir, how hard is it President the water concessionaires? Because last time he gave different um, statements on this. Una sabi niya he wants to talk to them, and sabi niya recently lang kay General Salamat na lang sila makipag-usap. So, what's the final that decision? The, his latest <coughs> statement would be the one operative. So he will no longer meet with the water concessioners? If that is what he said. No, sir, sound bite lang. Will he, meet, will he still meet? Is he interested in meeting the executives <coughs> of the MWSS? And, hey, may need, may need it. That particular matter, I have to ask the president. But with respect to his last comment, I suppose if that was his last statement, then we have to abide by it, unless he changes his way. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.